The Hunter Class Frigate is a highly capable multi mission warship designed to support anti submarine warfare, air defense, and general purpose operations anywhere on the world's oceans. Six frigates will be built by BAE Systems Maritime Australia at the Osborne Naval Precinct, South Australia. These world-class facilities represent one of the largest investments of their type in Australian history and are being outfitted with the most progressive digital advanced manufacturing technologies to ensure a continued sovereign capability for constructing complex warships. The shipyard is designed with a steel-in, ship-out capability. All steel arrives to the stockyard and is processed in the steel fabrication hall. Raw steel is prepped for construction through a blast and primer painting process. Plate information is marked on the steel using a printer. Cut lines are then automatically marked on the steel according to the digital design. Using specialised equipment, steel is cut into the plates and profiles and prepped for assembly. Panels and profiles are consolidated to create stiffened decks and bulkheads. Skilled operators with specialist machines bend and deform thick plates and profiles into complex shapes. Through a combination of automated and traditional methods, decks and bulkheads are assembled along a production line. The resulting structure is known as a unit. After dimensional assembly checks, units are loaded onto self-propelled modular transports. These completed units are then delivered to the block consolidation hall for assembly. Units are rotated from an inverted or upside down orientation. Being able to perform hot work at both orientations allows installation of pre-outfitting assemblies such as pipe hangers, studs and equipment seats through the most ergonomic and labour-saving processes. Groups of units are welded together to form blocks. Post-assembly, each block is taken to the blast and paint hole. Inside this giant chamber, blocks are pressure washed, dried, grit blasted, painted and cured. This ensures that the steel structures will last for decades in harsh marine environments. In addition to main steel construction, the rest of the yard is dedicated to administration, parts fabrication, electrical works and the thousands of other tasks that are required to build complex warships. Prepped blocks are moved to the block fitting and erection hall for cold outfitting. Piece by piece, the ship is consolidated from the keel up, installing major equipment along the way. The sheer size of this building allows almost the entire ship to be consolidated inside. Final consolidation will occur on the hard stand with the attaching of the mast. Compartments will be outfitted and remaining ship systems will be installed. Each frigate will float off into the Port River and moved alongside. Here, the final outfitting, integration and set to work of the ship and her equipment will occur before being formally delivered to the Royal Australian Navy. And included with each frigate will be its digital counterpart with the traceability of parts, suppliers and construction processes, which will assist in maintaining, sustaining and upgrading the vessels throughout their life and beyond.